Hi guys, um, another Division 1 um, video. Um, this time it's a build video. Um, it's um, the D3 build that I use, which is a um, the Ballistic Shield build. Um, it works really well for me. I mean, it's it's my go-to build. Uh, I use it for incursions, I use it for legendary, I use it for run, just running and gunning. Um, there's also a way to use the shield, which I'll show you at the end of the build. Um, it's a really good build. I mean, you know, I mean, short of incursion and, and maybe the odd legendary, I I find it hard sometimes to even use a med kit, honestly, because it just keeps me alive. Um, and especially with a little trick with the shield, um, which, I sh like I said, I'll show you at the end of the video. Um, so yes, let's get into it. I mean, the the first thing which is a must for me is the house um, SMG. Um, the talents that I use is ferocious, uh, destructive. And your card count is your, is your best one, so there's not a whole lot you can do about that. But for me, those two are the best um, talents to have because of the arm, armor destruction and the damage against elites and named enemies. And when you're doing incursions and incursions and um, legendary, you come across a lot of elite and named. So you know what I mean? It just it just really melts. I also do the I've got a video on my YouTube channel of the named bosses that you can do. I, th I think they reset every four hours. Um, they're named and elite, so it, it uh, wipes for them as well. Uh, my second is the lightweight M4. Now it is my favourite gun in in uh, in the entire Division One and Division Two. It's the lightweight M4. Um, the only the um, but I don't get to use it a lot. I am using it at the minute because um, I'm trying to get the headshot kills for the um, Hunter's Mask. But honestly, I just I end up by using the house for this build. Um, as far as the attachments are concerned, let me let me go back before I forget. So so as far as the house is concerned, all your attachments want to be damage orientated. Okay, you don't you don't want to worry about stability. You don't want to worry about crit. You don't want to worry about headshot. Just damage because it's hip fire. Because you're shooting from behind the shield, there's no point in stacking towards stability. There's no point in stacking towards headshot because a lot of the time you don't hit them. You're just spraying and praying. So the higher damage that you can do the DPS, which is that's what I've stacked to get, stacked towards. And if I get any other new attachments, then that's what I will do. It's all about damage. Just getting your first DPS up as high as you can. The lightweight M4, on the other hand, if you do want to use it, you do want to stack towards stability, because stability is is terrible with this gun. Or you have to burst it; you can't spray it. Um, so that's why I know I, I hate that scope that's on it. But it's at, at the, for now, this gives me the highest stability on 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 a scope. So if you look, that's what I've done. So my my first one is the stability, stability, um, no stability on a magazine, and then stability on the scope. So that that's why, um, that's what I do anyway. Uh, pistol doesn't really matter. I, I don't use it a whole lot. It's just anything is my highest score, really, to, to for the um, pistol. I mean, I mean, you can put an exotic on if you want to. You know what I mean, and things like that. Because it's Division One, we can have as many exotics as, as we want. So the the key to this build for me is the um, ninja backpack. So the ninja backpack works as a wild card okay so it 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 it, it works as a as an extra slot so basically to, the simplest way of putting it is instead of us having six items we've now got seven okay well, we've actually got eight actually we've got eight so what that means is so with that ninja backpack if you look at my build i've got three d3s that's these ones here one two three but with an ninja pack i've got four and if you look here i've got oh, so it's seven actually so if you look here i've got two predator but with the ninja backpack i've got three so if we go to the predator you can see i've unlocked the three set bonus which gives me reload speed assault rifle damage and smg damage that's why i've gone for the predator and then if you go for the d3 it's giving me protection from elites, ballistic shield damage resistance, and front line, which allows me to use an SMG if one is is equipped for the ballistic shield. Okay. So, as far as the numbers are concerned, this is going to be all down down to you, your own personal preference, and and what you like. I like to run six five. Okay. So if you look at the top, I run five, 
firearms and six stamina. You can run six six firearms and five stamina, but around those numbers, ten, eleven thousand, twelve thousand, around those numbers, that's that's what that's what you're looking for with those two combined. Skills, I don't worry too much about it. You do have to, you do have to keep your skills up because for those that don't know, mm -hmm. that's these numbers, the required numbers look. So I need to have a three thousand eight hundred firearms, three thousand eight hundred stamina, and three thousand eight hundred electronics, and that's for ferocious to work on my gun, and then destructive. It's just um, uh, health and uh, stamina and firearms. Sorry. So it's entirely up to you. So you could you could actually change that ferocious if you wanted to to something else that didn't rely on electronics and then you could maybe bump up your stamina and your firearms a little bit higher but the main tool for me is firearms and stamina and then I'll work with electronics I'll work with whatever talents my electronics allow me luckily the electronics allow me to have what I need so yeah so that's that's, that's what you do and then obviously then you, you can change your your minor attributes your major attributes on on your pieces and you just go for whatever works for you so like because this is a damage build i go for i mean as much damage as possible so damage to elites um armor damage um let's have a look what else have i done yeah again look see damage to elites increased kill xp it must have been that's that was the best one that was for that slot so that is basically basically it um but this is my this is my um Max style. I can't optimize this this bad boy anymore. It's the hardest hitting that I can get it at the minute. Um, as far as the uh, mod slots are concerned, again, you just work with what you need. So, it, so for argument's sake, if I needed to get my electronics up, then I would put that slot in. Um, anything else? So, if I needed to get my stamina up, I mean, I'm already equipped to that, so don't really count. But you know what I mean. So, you get the idea. That's that's what I use these for. But whereas these the the ones so so for those that don't know the slots that are on the left they're damage stamina electronics the slots that are on the right they they're your skill boosters if you like they enhance your skills so if you look on mine mine's ballistic shield damage resilience so it's anything that's ballistic shield related goes in there okay anything um what have I got in this one yeah so so ballistic shield health I don't know why I've got turret damage, but maybe again, maybe it's just the best that I've got for now. Yeah, it's probably the best that I've got for now, because it doesn't really matter what your first skill is. I mean, I do use pulse for your abilities, only because that does it. It, it can get quite dark and quite smoky and, and, and things like that in this game, so the pulse works well and it gives us a, a damage boost with crit chance and crit, and crit damage. Um, other than that, that's it. Yeah, it, it, that first skill is entirely up to you. You can put a healing station on if you want to. You can put um, a sticky on. You can put the turret on because you can have the turret where that pulses as well when it when it kills enemies. Um, but the shield is your main one. You, you want you want the ballistic shield. So the trick with the ballistic shield, okay. So in Division One, uh, sorry, Division Two. The ballistic shield has got a really quick cooldown. It's like if if you if you as long, long as it's not destroyed. If it's destroyed, it's it's quite a long cooldown. But if you destroy it yourself by unequipping it, it's about five, six, seven, eight, maybe ten seconds. In this one, it takes a long time for it to cool down. So you don't really want to unequip it unless you have to. Okay. So the idea is is you bring up your shield. And you, you do your shooting, whatever you need to do, and you run with it, and it good puts away. And as soon as you stop, it brings the shield back out again. So I even do that in the missions. So if I if I if I've cleared this area, let's say, and there's enemies all, all the way around here, I'll run to the next part, and then bring up my shield. So I'm not having to wait for that ridiculous cooldown time. And you can do it as many times as you want. Because then when you throw it away. You gotta wait for it to cool down, look. and it is really, really slow. I mean, it might not seem like it, but when you're in the middle of the battle and you've got legendaries chasing after you and you try to do an incursion, it does. It's got a really, really long cooldown. Um, but yeah, but that's it, guys. Um, I will um, put a link to our Discord in the description, and I'll post this build, a photograph of it in that um, Discord. Um, if you need to see in more detail but that is it I mean the only other thing I will say is you don't have to have Predator as those two extra pieces you can have Nomad 
you can have Lone Star, whatever you choose to do, but the, the main three have got to be the D3 for this to work because of the shield. You have to have the four piece so you can use an SMG we shield. Um, so yeah, that's it. Sorry if it's a bit rough and ready. I'm, I'm having audio problems on my PC, so I can't really edit and change things. I would have had, liked to have had, added some gameplay of me using it. Um, but I think I've got videos on my YouTube channel anyway saying that, 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 um, that this is my favourite build because it is. Uh, thanks for watching, guys.